Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Most of you know me from pick a card readings, but this video is a collective tarot reading. Okay, so this video is who can't get you off their mind and why. Okay, so we start off with four possible signs. I've got Virgo, Aries, and Pisces. Okay. And yes, there could be three different signs who can't get you off their mind heavily, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna dive into the most dominant energy, okay? All right, so this person is coming across like, well, immediately the impression I'm getting is this has a work-related feeling to it, okay? So like somebody that you know from work or it could be if this isn't a coworker or a boss, it's got the feeling of like you either show up to this person's work or they show up to your work, okay? It's got a work-related feel to it right off the bat. The other thing that's coming through are some traits. We have hazel eyes and light brown hair, okay? Only take that if it resonates. Those are pretty specific traits, but that's what wanted to come through here. Okay, so the other thing that I'm seeing is that it's showing there was something really unexpected about this connection between you and this person, okay? On one hand, it's coming through that you guys literally like ran into each other, okay? That may or may not be the case, but that's like how the connection feels, okay? And we also have unexpected meeting. So again, it just it has this feeling of like, even if, okay, so even if it wasn't a literal, like we ran into each other, you know, and started talking or it was unexpected, what's coming through is that this is work related and the feelings that came about, both of you came about like unexpectedly, okay? It has that same feeling as like running into someone and being like, whoa, you know, and everything being different after that unexpected meeting. Okay, the other thing that is coming through is that this person is juggling a lot right now, okay? They have a lot of responsibilities. That's also like what's giving me the impression of like a boss or a manager type position. Okay, some type of upper level position. And if not, that's like this saying like this is every area of this person's life, you know? They have a lot of different things that they're doing and that they have to be responsible for. Yeah, they even say I've got a lot on my plate right now. The other thing is we have my Rubik's Cube card. So that tells me that this person is hard to get a read on. Okay, they reveal only what they want people to know. So they're very calm and collected in that way. They don't like wear their emotions on their sleeves, so to speak. So even though you guys get the impression that this person is interested in you, they are not the easiest person to get a read on. But you're not wrong, okay? We have so attracted to you. This person finds you guys to be so attractive. They are drawn to you guys like a magnet. But you know, there is this professionalism coming through here, so that also tells me that, you know, that could be why this person really is good at keeping like a poker face. They see you guys as you light up a room, okay? You guys walk in and they just feel like you have all this positive, just all this positive energy. Okay, your aura, your vibe, all of it's really bright. In fact, I'm getting like a yellow aura with that. You're like a ray of sunshine to this person. In fact, as I'm saying that, the lyrics coming to me, I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. That's you guys. You're like the sun card in the tarot to this person. Here's what's interesting. Okay, so we have, they're acting like they don't care. But what I'm getting even more than that is this person feels like they have to act like they don't. I don't wanna say like they don't care, but like it's kind of, it's got that feeling of like them not wanting to give you special treatment or extra attention compared to everybody else, okay? So they're keeping their feelings and being attracted to you on the low right now. Meanwhile, this is me spilling the tea on this person. They're like, you are everything I've ever wanted in a person and I'm not sure what to make of this. 
Yeah, because they definitely feel like pursuing you would rock the bow, and they're not sure they're ready to do that. They are coming across like they're a new person, so even if you've known this person for a while, that's just saying like you guys haven't had a whole lot of conversation with each other. But you're both feeling this connection. I am getting that that's mutual. They come across like a wolf, and what I get with this is that they're a highly independent person, but at the same time, they can also get along with a group. Going back to light up the room, I'm also getting the impression that when this person walks into a room, they light up the room as well. They have a lot of eyes on them, like whatever it is that they do for a living, and people look up to them. So I just get like responsibility is like the big word that's coming through for this person. Okay, so this next message is only going to go for a small portion of you. So for some of you, you and this person were in a situation ship. For the rest of you, I'm not getting that and I'm not even getting that that's where it's going to go. That message is just for a very select portion of you. And for those of you that were in a situation ship with that person, their message to you is, I regret messing things up with you. But for the rest of you, disregard that completely. That is not meant for you. Because overall, I'm seeing whether you guys were in a situation ship with this person or not, they really do see you as somebody that they want to build with, okay? They want to be able to provide for you as well. Even though they know you're an independent person, they're like, give me a chance to come in and they like, they want to be your hero even though they know you don't need one. You know what I mean? They are currently keeping their distance and being aloof right now. Yeah, they say, I also feel like I have to keep my distance. So it's going to come across like they don't care and you guys are probably confused because you feel this connection, but at the same time, they're not, you know, giving a whole lot of indication that what you're sensing is true, even though I'm seeing that it is. Again, take it if it resonates, it's a general reading, but that's what's coming through. They do say that they keep seeing you in their dreams, so I do feel like you both are dreaming about each other. In fact, it's got this feeling of just as soon as you guys or them start thinking like, oh, this isn't practical, I gotta move on from this connection, then it's like all of a sudden, you or them dream about each other and it just reignites everything, you know. The feelings come rushing back. In fact, now the Celine Dion song's coming to me. It's all coming back to me from a dream. The emotions come back. Yeah, so I do see this person, they want to come forward towards you, but they're being cautious right now. They're torn between what's familiar, secure, content, safe, and what's unknown, exciting, and a thrill, and that's you. They say, I miss you, and they wonder if you guys miss them and wonder about them at all. This person is dreaming about reuniting with you and what they feel like that will be like, and I feel like it excites them. And they wanna know, are you with someone? Okay, they can't tell. They know you guys are a catch and you're not gonna wait around forever for this person. So they do realize that if they wanna make this happen, they're gonna have to act soon, you know? But yeah, this is what I see for you guys. Okay guys, if this resonated, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like and also let me know what you think about the new format versus pick a cards. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime you can email me. That information is right here. Also, if you would like a discount on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys.